That first year of instruction, I'd use mezzo forte, I'd use forte and piano. Three lanes are, are enough for them the first year. Um, some of the cellists use a lot more than that, uh, so on and so forth. This is a, just a conceptual idea, and so it doesn't matter how many there are. I label six, and I think this language is very easy. This is in Sound Innovations, book three. It actually starts in book one. It's into the middle school uh, sound development and high school sound development book, uh, warm-up books. It's in there with all uh, six lanes. So here's how it works. If I put my bow there, that's a bowing lane. If I put it there, it's a lane, that's a lane, that's a lane. Imagine a freeway with six different lanes, okay? Some of which you go faster in, some of which you go slower in, okay, in general. Mezzo forte lane, forte, piano, mezzo piano, pianissimo, and fortissimo. Why do I like that language? Super simple. Super simple. There's an even more important reason. Let's place our bows in the mezzo forte lane. That would be in the center of the string, halfway between the fingerboard and the bridge, and just maybe a skosh towards the bridge. Just, just a, a, a hair's width more from the middle. That's the mezzo forte lane. That's a great place to start kids. Now, do those directly correlate with dynamics? N no, they're pretty close though. Here's what happens in a middle school orchestra. The kids pick up their instrument and you're playing a piece and it starts mezzo forte. They will place the bow here, 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 here. They'll put it in six different lanes depending on where they are in the section and who they are. And you know what happens? Now you have red, green, orange, purple, chartreuse all at the same time. Then the problem becomes what makes it worse is they've also placed the bow here, 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 here and you have every different kind of level of attack going on, and then they move the bow at different speeds. Nothing sounds the same, all right? I'm gonna give, give you an example. Steve, I'd like you to, Steven, I'd like you to place your bow in the mezzo forte lane, and I want you to pull the bow uh, medium slow. Marcy, I want you to put your bow uh, in the pianissimo lane and pull it really fast. Tracy, I want you to put it down near the bridge and move it real slow. And Benji, why don't you put it halfway between, the, uh, like the, the, in other words, the uh, piano lane and move it, you know, medium fast. Um, and then you guys just, just pick one, pick one of those spots, pick a spot, okay? And let's just try playing a D scale. D, D, E, E, ready and go now. It's a mess, isn't it? Okay, now let's try this. I want you to put your bow in the mezzo piano, or for, excuse me, mezzo forte lane, center just slightly towards the bridge, just a hair. I want you to use a, a medium amount of weight, let some hand weight into the string, get the, get, let the bow go down into the string, and I want you to meet, use a medium slow bow speed. Ready, play, now. Good, good. Even with non-string players, do you see how different that was? Oh my gosh, it's dramatic. You can change the sound of an orchestra so fast using this concept. Let's learn where our bowing lanes are. If you place your bow and put it right in the middle of the string between the end of the fingerboard and the bridge, right in the center, and then move it slightly towards the bridge, that will be the mezzo forte bowing lane. And it sounds like this. Now if we take our bow and move it slightly towards the bridge some more, it will be the forte bowing lane. And it sounds like this. Now let's come back to the center of the string, the middle, and let's move the bow slightly towards the fingerboard and we'll be in the mezzo piano lane. Now when I do that, I'm also gonna tilt my bow toward the scroll slightly to help me play in a soft dynamic. And it will sound like this. Everybody get the idea? Okay, now that video, the URL is uh, alfred.com slash sound development video. You can go there anytime you want and watch these videos. This is a wonderful exercise and the next step is, once they can play in a lane, you want to teach them to change lanes, okay? So for example, I'll play this for you. Pianissimo lane. 
piano lane, meso piano lane, meso forte lane, forte lane, fortissimo lane.